Awesome. So let's run this conversion ad. And then um, any does anything need to be changed on the post at all? Did you double check the, the post, the text? I looked, at, I looked at it right before I got on with you on okay, the video. Good. And it, it looked good because the other day we updated it to include that new bit.ly link. Oh, that's right. That's right. You're right. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So we're it good. Be, it should be we're fine. Good. Okay. Awesome. Perfect. So then let's um, click the green button here. And then let's just go straight into conversions. All right. Okay, cool. So conversions, and then um, you'll scroll down a bit, and then you'll um, just name your titles here. So hit that drop down. Yeah, just scroll down. So this is just naming your your tabs. You know, doing it here. You can always do it as you go in, but doing it here is simple. So campaign name. I would just start naming all my videos. Like give your videos a certain name, and then that's the name you'll used okay. for for this title right here so <laughs> whatever video that was mm -hmm. or is uh i'm just gonna call it a hot seller's market <laughs> perfect perfect it's kind of about that okay and then and then in parentheses and this is the first title the campaign just put the campaign name so conversions so just like we did on the other ones we did traffic did video views this one conversions and then the ad set that title i normally title that the city that we're targeting so that's perfect and then the ad you can just do the same as the top hot sellers market video oh video okay yeah yeah so just go ahead and put in video in parentheses perfect perfect so that's that's kind of how you want to do it so naming the first one conversions name the bottom one video and the the middle one just the city you're targeting cool Okay. Let's continue. And then now we come into step one, which is special ad categories, always making sure that you turn that on and then hit the drop down for, for housing. Okay, cool. And then scroll down and we'll just make sure that the CBO is off campaign budget optimization, turn that off. Perfect. And then just hit next. Okay. So that's step one. So step one is choosing the objective titling everything the three titles and then and then choosing our special ad category which is housing that's okay. it that's step one and then step two is simply the ad set level where we choose the targeting the city we're targeting and and and, and choosing our pixel making sure that that's the right pixel the forest team so now we scroll down we don't need to change anything at the top website leave it as is and then we always want to double check scroll up we always want to double check that that's the correct custom conversion the conversion event so that's our custom conversion that's the link that's the thank you page that's we always want to make sure that that's the right one right okay. so so that is seller guide leads perfect so now you scroll down and then you this is where we'll just put our budget you can go daily budget you can go you can go lifetime budget it's it's kind of a it's kind of up to you whatever it's the same dollar amount so um <laughs> daily of 50 would be a little much <laughs> Maybe yeah, I start with five and run it, you know, run it for like a week or maybe two weeks and just, is that doable? You can, you can either, you can do that or you can, or you can shorten like five bucks for, for two weeks is what is five times, what is that? Five times 14 is what? Five, five, five times 14. A little over 60. 70. So 70. 70. Okay. So rather than, rather than doing, so, so now this is time to just kind of look at our variations and different options that we have for that same dollar amount rather than going two weeks at five bucks a day i would rather go 10 bucks a day for seven ah uh, i gotcha okay okay so so go go 10 bucks a day and then um and then and then go ahead and start the start the calendar let's start the calendar um and start it for the next day so always go april 9th at okay. 6 a.m okay so you'll always want to start the next day at 6 a.m. Okay. And then go ahead and put a put an end end date as well. Okay. So we'll make it a week from the ninth. Yes. The now, typically I wouldn't put an end date only because I only because in the very, very beginning, you mm -hmm. want to you want you don't need to micromanage it. So you don't need to be looking at this every hour. But mm -hmm. what you do want to do is get in the habit of looking at it on the fourth day. Mm -hmm. So so let three full days go by and then review it on the fourth day. Oh. So 
so I wouldn't even let this run for a set. It's you, so that's what I'm saying. The end date sometimes, unless you're unless you're unless you may forget, right? Mm -hmm. Unless you're just like on vacation and you're not even thinking about it, you set it and just don't even forget about it. Don't even don't even look at it. Yeah. If that's, if that's happening and you guys are not going to be on a computer anytime soon in the next few days, then then for sure an end date is important because we don't want to overspend on it at all, right? Right. But um, but but I'm gonna have I'm gonna I'm gonna review this with you in four days. Okay. So you could put an end date of seven days, but we're, we, we may, we may let it run for seven days and we may not. That's my point. So we may not even let it run for seven days gotcha. on, on the fourth day. We got to check that and make sure that the numbers are, are looking, looking okay. Because if after four days, if no leads came in, then, then I would have you shut it off. Okay. Um, I wouldn't have it run the whole seven days. Um, now sometimes like actually every time, most of the time, faith, actually all the time, all the Facebook will tell you to run it for seven to 10 days before mm -hmm. you make a decision on turning off that ad or, or, or leaving it on. Mm -hmm. But mentors and coaches that I have, like I, I spend a lot of money on these Facebook ad coaches as well. All of them test ads for three days. Mm. So it's, it's letting it run for full, a full three complete days and then looking at it on the fourth day. But I wouldn't want you to set that end date for the fourth day because mm -hmm. I don't want it to end on four days. I want it, I want to look at it in four days. Yeah, it might be going great. It might be going great, right? So then, so then, and then that's my point. So if we end up putting an end date of seven days, what if it's going great? Then I don't, then you can always come in here and extend the end date. You can for sure do that. Or or just yeah. not even put an end date and just put on your calendar, review ad. You know, in four days, review this ad. Yeah. So it's up to you. I mean, it's all preference. It's up to you. You can put, go ahead and put an end date just so you don't for sure overspend. Um, yeah. And just, yeah, leave it at that. But, but just keep in mind on the fourth day, you'll want to look at it. Okay. So maybe in four days, we'll talk, we'll look at it together. That'd be great. Yeah. So, so, okay. So the ninth to the 16th, so that's perfect. So yeah, just leave it as is. So let's scroll down. That's the budget. And then we're scrolling down. We're going to go to, we'll leave all that audience, leave that as is location, change that. Um, let's target just your local area and then um, age, gender. We don't need to change any of that. Um, what we do want to change is that drop down at the top. I so did I did the, something. Messed up. <laughs> was, okay. Yeah. Let's Maybe I need to write. Uh, oops. I'm sorry. I haven't done this in a while. You actually do need to click on that but we can do that after. Go ahead and put in the city first. Okay. There it is. I had to type out state. Awesome. And always go with the drop down as well. So as you type, always click on the drop down. Oh. Okay. Yeah. So um, yeah, you can go above 15 here. And then what's super, super important is that drop down right above. So people living in, mm -hmm. you need people living in this location. Okay. Okay, not yeah. any of the other. <laughs> I need the sellers. Yes. Owner. Yeah. Yeah. So scroll down. That's it for that. And then all we're going to change down here is the is the language. So go okay. down to language and go English all. So click on the edit for languages and then let's go English and then just hit the drop down for all. Mm -hmm. Perfect. And then we scroll down and that is it. So that's and we're going to leave it on automatic placement. Let Facebook place it where they know the highest engagement is at. So we'll leave, leave that part up to Facebook. And that's step two. That's it. That's just choosing the budget, choosing the, the location, and um, setting the calendar. That's it. That's, that's step two. So hit next. And then mm -hmm. step three is simply um, selecting the post and, and, and then putting our link to the landing page. So okay. right here, the create, yeah. So you'll use existing post and then just select post and then grab it from here. Perfect. Yeah, I think like one person has seen it. <laughs> Nobody sees it when it's just on your. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> right. So that's why, yeah, running it is so important. Okay, cool. So if you scroll down, so in right above you selected page, click on that drop down and just go ahead and choose, choose your Instagram, even though it's not going to run on Instagram, but just hit it, click it and just mm -hmm. um, go ahead and choose it anyways. Do you know why it's not going to run on Instagram? It, is it the to do with the tar, the uh, house housing productions? No, I don't know. <laughs> no, no, the reason why is because of the length of the video oh. and because ah. of the the dimensions of the video. The the fact that it's it's shot widescreen. 
Yes. So that's not for Instagram. Instagram is the vertical, whether right. it's an image or a video, it's, it's, it's the vertical shot. Yeah. And then it, it cannot be no more than no longer than one minute. Oh, that's right. Okay. Yeah. So, so it's fine. Even though we put Instagram account, it's totally fine. They just, they just don't run it over there. And that's why with Instagram, you'll, um, you'll want to create a completely separate ad. That way you can test it, mm -hmm. right? You can, you can know, okay, this one's going straight to Instagram and Instagram only Yeah. versus trying to run them to both. Um, you just want to always separate those types of campaigns. Oh. Okay. okay let's so, see. so scroll down and all we got to do is just add our link and that's it. Well, actually add our link and then create our, our custom audience. So what down do you think here, about, I was curious, do you think video captions make a difference? Is it a big deal or? I mean, Yes. I mean, yeah, yes, yes. Um, I and mean, I'm not going to do it right now because I know you got to make corrections. I'd have to make corrections and all that. Takes yeah, you want to do that before you come over here and set up the ad. You'll do all mm -hmm. that in your business man or, or on your business page, excuse me. So yeah. as you look at that post on your business page, you go into the edit from there and you can add them there. But mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of people watch video without the audio. Right. Like, especially in the beginning. Like, yeah. Yeah. So caption is is that's the subtitles so yeah so yeah that that is that is important that is important you'll want to start doing that for your videos for sure okay um it's just time consuming that part is the time consuming part yeah um but it it could be good it could be good so okay. up at the top you're going to click on add button and then just um, add your link to your landing right, page oh, right here yes okay the link to the landing page yes all right, Get back. grab it real quick. Oh, that doesn't look right. That's actually, oh, it's the it bit is that one, but just take away, it's, it's all the way up to seller's guide and then take away the question mark. Okay. Yeah, everything to the right of, yeah, just that part. You need HTTPS as yes, well? Yes, all of it, yeah, all of that, that's fine. All right. Okay, cool, so that will go right there, perfect. And then update post. Okay, cool. And then, and then the sele select a domain, hit that drop down. Okay. Select a domain. Perfect. Okay, cool. So, so that's the that's the web event. Okay, cool. And then scroll down. Mm -hmm. You see, um, is that as far as you can go down? No, actually, no. You can go down. Oh. Um, actually, can you go down further? I don't have anything here. Okay, here, cool. Then you're good then. Okay, perfect. So now just um, publish, hit the green one, and you're good. So um, now what you can do is you can always hit the drop down. Once it publishes, you can see what it looks like in the newsfeed. So um, that's always cool to just look at real quick. So right there where it says view more variations, click to the right of that, the drop down to the right. No, not that one. So just X out of this one. Oh, sorry. <laughs> so it's just the drop down to the right. Yeah, right there. This. So click on that and then scroll to the very, very bottom. Facebook desktop newsfeed. I did not know you could do that. Yes. And then right over here. So as you scroll through, it will just show you. Oh, that is very cool. Yeah. yeah. So um, when is the best time to sell your home? I love that title. So the title is always at the bottom of the video, right? So as you're working on that post, you upload it to the business page, you're working on the edits of the text, you're adding the bit.ly link. You have the title, you know, because when you're looking at it on the business page, when you're editing, it can be a little misleading because the title is, is above, right? Yeah. The title goes at the top, right? And yeah. so even when you're editing on your business page, the title is at the top, but yeah. that title, it, it doesn't go at the top. It goes, it, once the ad is live, it goes there at the bottom, right? Right. So that's as much space mm -hmm. as you get. You, you, you can always, you know, keep in mind that you can go a little longer. When is the best time to sell your home in St. John's County? Question mark. Mm -hmm. Click learn more to download a free guide. Oh, or click I learn that. more to download a free PDF or click learn more to, to find, click learn more to learn more or something like that. Like you can always, mm -hmm. my point is that that title, mm -hmm. that one's, that one is catchy because it's a question. Mm -hmm. So anytime you can ask a question that stops people scroll. Like mm -hmm. it does, because if I'm scrolling through and I, and, and I see when is the best time to sell your home in St. John's, it's like, well, shit, I don't know. <laughs> Let me find out. Right. So it's actually yeah. catchy. It makes me stop and think and want to click. It does to me at least.
Mm-hmm. And so I'm thinking in general as well as I as I try to really coach on all this stuff. So the point is, is that that right there, you always want to make that catchy, the title. Yeah. But that's what they see right to the left of the learn more button. So so get me to want to click that learn more button is what that title should should reference, you know, should yeah. get me to do. Yeah. And then um and then having the link above that never hurts. Um and then your 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 emojis, that's perfect. Always a couple emojis in 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 the text is always a good thing. So you have exactly what it takes in Anastasia. Like you really do, man. You have you have what it takes. Like you have the knowledge, obviously. You guys have the team, you have the ability to do video. Like once once you you get that part, those butterflies out of your out of your tummy on on wanting to be on video on camera. It's like, dude, now it's time to just dominate. Now it's time to really start putting money into Facebook advertising. Like don't Mickey Mouse this stuff. Like really, really go all in. Like you need to go all in because if it's not this targeting your local area, how else do you get the attention of them? Door knocking? Like are we going to spend a few thousand on direct mail pieces? Like, come on, like what out? We're going to have a networking event. Like what else do we do do to to get the attention of our neighbors especially in video form like how else would you do that if it's not this it's hard i mean right? I, have, so I, have, I have a va calling people <laughs> like, like just right we're cold calling randomly, all day cold right? calling all yeah all, nine to five yeah yeah yeah, it's, yeah. It's we really, can we can have someone doing that yeah but but see i was an lo like i was a lender right i was i did mortgages from 2010 to 2016 my whole office we had 30 los i was one of them on the phone all damn day calling leads. I would call anywhere from, and I'm not kidding. I'm a phone guy. I come from the phones. Like, let me just make mm-hmm. that clear. I've been on the phones forever, like forever, forever. I, I am a, I'll crush anybody on a phone only because I can sit there longer than anybody else, anybody else, only because I can yeah. dial more than anybody else. That's the only reason why it's not that I'm better. I, I can just sit there forever and dial. Like, so mm-hmm. I come from that background, but my point is, is that that's all we did. So so to this day, my best friend, he still owns a company. They do millions in volume. They do very, very well. Um, but my point is, is that I built our business that way, mortgages on the phone, and we crushed it. But what one thing I did not get out of that is a brand. Mm. Because I'm just a phone, like your your VA, that, that homeowner is also getting four other calls. Right, for sure. There's nothing that separates you at all like so she should be she she would be very very good on that phone to build that relationship but other than that yeah there's no branding there's no long-term effect at all like it's just a you're just another phone person calling you know so that was me as a lender i was just there was four other banks calling that lead i was just another random bank calling them trying to get their business to get them to refi right um but I, but i didn't build anything out of it with mm-hmm. this, with a Facebook ad, especially a video, you're targeting a local market. I'm telling you, after a few videos, that whole city is going to know who the hell you are. Hmm. It's a different branding. It's it's you. Yeah. It's you and video. Yeah, video is very effective. Right? So it's like, yeah. you need to go all in with this, man. You need to be consistent and, and, and run ads no matter what the hell is going on. Run ads every week. Like, you have to get in that habit. And again, and again, sometimes ads may be going well where you may not have to launch that second ad right away, right? Oh, I'm telling okay. you to run one every seven days, run a new one every seven days. That's what I'm really saying. But okay. again, sometimes you may not need to because that first one is going is going well and you're capturing leads. But but mm-hmm. even to, even when you don't capture a lead off that one ad, run another one, run mm-hmm. another one. Like have X amount of okay. dollars put aside to just put at Facebook ads regardless of what's happening. You have so, to you're, so you're saying be don't don't get discouraged no. after the first one. I was going to ask you how long it's you see. I was wondering too with your Kartra clients too. Just yes. how long does it take for them to start seeing results and like uh, after get, like, after a couple ads, like after 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 two to three ads. Yeah. Because at that point, Facebook, what what you start to do from 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 ad one is it's all about audiences. That's what that's where that's where everyone drops the ball is they don't run enough ads to create the audiences. Mm-hmm. So, so you have to run enough ads. It's, it's in the beginning, two, three, four ads. It's your first month, maybe month and a half where what you're doing is you're warming up the audience. Mm-hmm. Like you're, 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 you're getting these people to know who the heck you are. 
you're mm -hmm. creating custom audiences and you're now retargeting those who landed on your page before but haven't opted in. You're now retargeting those who watched videos for the last three weeks. So now when once you get into, into, into your second, third, fourth ad, that's mm -hmm. when you should be retargeting okay. and, 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 and getting back in front of that, in, in front of those people who engaged before. So it's all about, it's all about building this brand. That's what this is about. It's about building your brand and, and getting that local area to, to see you multiple times, mm -hmm. not just once, right. like not just once. That's what every agent does. They'll run an ad just once. And mm -hmm. because they didn't capture a lead, they don't run another one. Mm -hmm. It's like, dude, that cannot be so far from the, from how you do it. Like, like yeah. you, you, you have to stay consistent because again, the consistency is what's building these audiences for you and retargeting the audiences is what it's all about. Mm -hmm. So, so out of this, you're getting two audiences. You're getting one audience. In fact, let's, let's do that right now. Let's go to the ads manager and mm -hmm. click on the dots to the left, click mm -hmm. on audiences. Mm -hmm. So you're getting two audiences out of every ad. You're getting the audience of those who watch the video, which is what we're going to set up right now. Let's create audience, go to um, custom audience. You're okay, getting that's new not, audience. That's not what this is, is it? No, we're going to set up another one. Actually, did one. We, we haven't set one up on that video yet, right? Um, no, we haven't. No, uh, yeah, not so in the video. So, so what you'll do is always get in the habit of once you set up that ad, which is what we just did, now we're going to come over here and set up the custom audience. This one? Yep, video. And then now we're going to set up this audience because, again, every ad we, we're getting, we're capturing data. And, and in this case, it's the data of those who watch 25%, hit the drop down. We're going 25%, choose the video in the top right, choose videos, and we're going to choose this video. Okay. So every ad, we're capturing an audience of those who watch 25% of this video. And we're also capturing the audience of those who landed on the web page or the opt-in page, but didn't opt in. Okay. Okay. And then, and then we're obviously, you know, capturing the audience of those who opt in, but it's really, and those are leads. Those are who we'll be excluding in every ad, but right. the real upfront data is, is, is for sure these audiences that we're going to be able to retarget. We're going to oh. always want to retarget these audiences. So the retention, just take it down to 30. Take it on mm -hmm. 30 days. Anyone who has seen this video in the past 30 days, they're going to be in this audience and they're going to see my next ad. Okay. So audience name, go to name it, whatever video that is. So just like you name the title, um, you could do the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Be very specific. Um, and you don't have to put video views, just put hot sellers market video, put hot sellers market video, and then in parentheses, video, not in parentheses, in parentheses, you're going to put um, 25%. So ah, gotcha. market video, and then it's the 25 percenters and then create audience, create audience. Cool. So, okay. so you got to always put yourself, so hit done. You got to always put yourself in the, in the consumer shoes. You're a consumer. I'm a consumer. Sean's a consumer. Everyone's a consumer. Mm -hmm. You have to put your consumer hat on and really be, be honest with yourself. Mm -hmm. When's the last time you were online and you saw something or someone for the very, very, very first time you clicked and you gave up all your damn information. <laughs> like when's the last time you've done that? Like I'm talking where you're like, holy cow, I need that. That happens once every freaking few months. Like where we yeah, actually I think yoga, something. yoga clothes or something. Yoga like clothes. That. Yep. Yep. You couldn't have said it better. Or even maybe a badass guitar mm -hmm. because you're into that stuff. Right. It's like, right. <laughs> if you saw a badass guitar, then you're like, holy cow, I got to have that. <laughs> but when's the last time you actually emotionally had that feeling? Mm -hmm. It's very rare. It's yeah, very rare. Very rare. That yeah. that person or that company has to be professional marketers to get you to see something for the very first time and get you to want to buy it. Mm. Yeah. But if but if they're not that hardcore professional marketer, which we're not, I'm, I'm not even that person. I'm not that damn good. Like, mm -hmm. like, so when it comes to us, we're quote unquote influencers, we're quote unquote solopreneurs. It's just us. I don't have mm -hmm. no marketing team. Like it's just me. So it's like, I'm not that hardcore good. Mm -hmm. So therefore we have to show something multiple times. Even the big brands need like, look, commercials, like, I don't know if, how you grew up, but I grew up like watching cartoons and TV a lot, right? Like when I was a kid, I was always watching TV. 
and 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 back in my days when I when when really there was only TV, no computer, no internet, none of that crap, right? It was just freaking TV when I was growing up. So yeah. I don't know if you remember this, but when I was a kid, when I was growing up, I would always watching TV, watching cartoons, I would always see three types of commercials. I would always see commercials on cereal, cereal. So it would be Fruit Loops, Lucky Charms, you know, different random kid cereals. Mm -hmm. I would always see commercials on toys. Yeah. I would always see commercials on Pepsi or Coca Cola. Mm -hmm. And these, these are billion dollar, billion dollar companies, billion dollar brands. All of these commercials, every single one of them, every single one of them, they're spending millions of dollars to simply show you their brand. Huh. That was it. There's no call to action. There's no phone number. There's no button to click on to go buy now. It was simply a very general Pepsi commercial of Michael Jackson. Uh -huh. It was a very simple brand awareness of a certain toy. Uh -huh. It was a Hasbro commercial and they were showing their newest Barbie, but there wasn't no call now to order now. There wasn't no click here to buy now. There wasn't, hey, make sure you go down to your local Toys R Us to buy now, unless there was a Toys R Us commercial. Right. But but if it wasn't and 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 even with cereal, it wasn't. They weren't specifically specifically saying in the commercial, "Hey, go to your local Walmart and you can buy now." It's normally just a cool animated commercial on Lucky Charms, mm -hmm. and the whole point of that type of marketing is to freaking brainwash us, <laughs> is to show us a product over and over and over and over and over again so the moment you walk into the local grocery store you automatically think lucky charms right that's how you kind of you have to kind of look at this we're, right. we're showing our face over and over and over and over to a local market and, and 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 it might not be the first ad it might not be the second ad it might not be the third ad but as long as you're creating these audiences and retargeting these people eventually they're going to fall in love with you Mm -hmm. you're only targeting a local area we're not targeting the country right. so it only takes a few videos before this entire town can know who you guys are and right. that alone has value mm -hmm. that alone has value you're going to literally turn into a local celebrity that alone has value how much is that worth you know what i mean so yeah you're going to get a lot out of this man you're going to get a lot out of this don't just look at the lead, look at just the overall exposure of, of all this and what, what's about to happen. Like you're about to create something magical right now. Just trust me on this one. So, mm -hmm. but you got to stay consistent. That's the key word. You got to stay consistent. Okay. So custom conversion ad is set to go live tomorrow. Custom audience is set right here for the video. Let's chat in four days and review these numbers together. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, David. I'm pumped. Yes, Anastasia. You're so, so welcome. Message me if you need anything else. Okay. I'll talk to you in four days. Set up a, a call as soon as you can. Okay. Thank cool. you. Thanks. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs>